Yes. Spectacular. You, quote unquote, amaze me, Mangs. This is a message from Lord Nurgal. I await you on the Dread Isle. This is a message from Lord Nurgal. I await you on the Dread Isle. This is a message from Lord Nurgal. I await you on the Dread Isle. This is a message from Lord Nurgal. I await you on the Dread Isle. This is a message from Lord Nurgal. I await you on the Dread Isle. This Save me, please, please. <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> okay, fine. Start playing again. That was much. That was much better. This is a message from Lord Nurgal. Okay. I, I was actually going to see how long it took before Mecha said some things. I was actually prepared to say that for 15 minutes straight and just see how long we could take it. Thankfully, you broke way quicker than I thought you would. That's good. I, I broke like five days ago, dude. Hector <laughs> arrives on the shores of Valor with a new companion in his numbers. An enigmatic young girl named Ninian. Oh, that, that means we're going to get a dance for this chapter, doesn't it? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. The majority no, she's of green, so it doesn't count. Fuck. The majority of the island is covered in dense forests. Legend. I'm a green unit. <laughs> I'm a green unit. Legend has it that no other, no one has ever returned from those dark woods. Well, how do you know if no one returned to tell the legends? Duh. A dense fog crawls over the party, engulfing them one by one. Dense is probably a good description. <laughs> Cautiously, they move deeper into the trees. Luckily, we can just light a torch and the fog goes away, because that's how fog works in real life. Yeah. Just light a fire. The fog in like 10 mile radius just vanishes. <laughs> if you, if you get on a mountain, it goes even bigger, right? If you... <laughs> oh, that was great. I loved him when that idiot said that. He had clearly just played Advanced Wars or okay, something. Okay, he, he is not an idiot. <laughs> he just didn't know everything, okay? He said a lot of weird things for being a speedrunner, yeah, but I guess. If we're, if we're not sure who I'm, who we're referring to, it's Mecha's Pitfall He's used to video. doing things fast, not properly, okay? Mecha did a Pitfall video where he reviewed a speedrunner, and he said some really weird things, like the he, he incorporated Fire Emblem Forest anim, or a Magic Triangle into Fire Emblem 7, so it was clear that he just played yeah. Fire Emblem 4. It's really weird. Really Pretty weird. Pretty impressive. Shame on you, Marcus Farah. You free the boy and the girl. I will not let you move on a post. I was going to free just the boy, but then I decided that would be kind of cruel, so I freed them both. <laughs> what shall we do, Lord Nurgal? With both siblings gone, we can no longer hold a ceremony. How many times must I tell you, Lord Darren? You are being used by this man. By helping him bring dag dragons back into this world, you're helping him destroy mankind, do you understand? <laughs> I destroy mankind? Dragons may have been a threat to mankind in ages past, but with Lord Nurgal's power, we've got nothing to fear. Lord Nurgal can control dragons! <laughs> Lord Darren, you've already lost. I'd planned to start a war in Lycia. The war I was plotting in Lycia would have generated a glorious amount of force in one blow. Force in one blow? Oh. <laughs> you're not what? equal to the task, it seems. Not to worry, I've other means at hand. Black-hearted fiend. Gah. Gah. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> Hold your tongue. There is still a task you must perform for me. Efidel, Nimstella, my beloved morphs, my beauteous walkabout. I have new jobs for you, my pets. First, Limstella, you will go to Burn and contact Sonia. I want you to arrange a meeting with the king. Understood. Afridel, take this man, Marcus Laus, and go. I want you to exterminate the mice who landed on the island. Yes, master. That leaves you, Marcus Ferra. Seems your legacy is one of endurance. The mouse who interfered with my conquest of Lycia is named Elliwood. Should he be congratulated on making it this far? Elliwood, my son is here? Stop, do with me what you will, but let my son be. <laughs> Remember the siblings you freed? The girl's here too! As a matter of the fact, she's with your son, Elliwood. Quite a delicious twist of fate, wouldn't you say? This can't be. Elliwood will die in these woods. <laughs> Elliwood. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> <laughs> the girl will be returned to me and the ceremony will take place. Hmm, despite those long hours of torture, you remain undaunted. <laughs> Exposition. Such courage will make you the perfect sacrifice, Marcus Fair. Elliwood, turn back. Take the girl and flee, please. It seems that like Elliwood and his father seem like they think they can telepath, like communicate telepathically, but they can't. So they just keep talking to themselves as if they're talking to each other. Hmm. It's kind of strange. Yes. Yeah, uh, <coughs> never thought about that before, actually. <laughs> I can't believe it's come to this. I better talk loudly so people can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> I must inform Lord Hector of these events. If I hurry, I may be in time. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
<laughs> Layla! Where are you going? Lord Evidel, the sentries, I'm going to check on... You overheard, did you not? And I had such high hopes for you. Jafar! Ah! The punishment for traitors is death. Deep loop. Yep. I am Jafar. I am a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds Kill like... Kill Layla.exe. <laughs> 404 Layla not found. <laughs> Layla... <laughs> Layla will be found, trust me. <laughs> Layla.exe stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> Shut down. Shut down. Dumping, Force a heart reset. <laughs> dumping physical memory to disk. <laughs> <laughs> sure, hope we did have a backup of that one. <laughs> it's an emotional and engaging journey. Ah, Matthew! Impressive, Jafar. Your power is beyond compare. He's only like a tree out of five stars, really. <laughs> Take this woman's corpse and leave it in the forest. Let it serve as a warning to those fools. God, people are gonna get so angry when they get to my review for Jafar. I bet, like, every single noob thinks he's, like, the best unit in the game. You survived Lin's review. I'm pretty sure you'll be fine when it comes to Jafar. <laughs> that actually generated a copypasta meme on my Facebook group. You haven't seen it yet, I think. Or you're not there, are no. you? It's, ama oh. it's amazing. Why would it's I want more Manx content? <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, we gotta incorporate that into your community service. Five hours of <laughs> Fort Manx every day. <laughs> there was this guy who was like, I had to, I had to pause when I saw this video. I had to pause and come here to write this post. Two out of five stars. I, I get, I get this rating, but this really makes me emotional because Lynn was my first favorite character in Fire Emblem 7, and I really I think that oh, no. she, she really deserves more than this. I just, I can't watch this video anymore. I had to stop and breathe. Oh, I'm so triggered. <laughs> and and people just started to to make a bi billion different, like, copy pastas. Like, I, Wait, the original I, was, like, sincere? Yeah, yeah, it was sincere. So people started <laughs> no, <laughs> so people, people started making copy pastas. Like, when I saw the, the rating of Bartra, I have to stop and pause the video. One out of five stars? I'm really, like, emotionally connected to Bartra. <laughs> but I <laughs> Let's get through these woods. Starting to get foggy, trying to get separated. Enter and be lost. Feels like we're not coming back. Hector, are you trying to curse us? Are you well, Ninian? Yes, I'll be fine. Someone's there. Who? A sentry? I never quite got this. Like, did they string her up or something? Layla, is that you? Impressive work finding your way here. Yeah, Something's... it should be pretty easy to tell that someone's dead, you know? <laughs> They're not standing. <laughs> Something's so wrong, kind of Layla. Around, like having a picnic. Le oh, no. Layla. Oh, Layla.exe stopped working. <laughs> Boom. She's dead. No. This can't be. Indian, you don't know her. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> she was one of our best spies. Layla. Oh no, Rip character we never met. This this scene is kind of sad though. I'm sorry, Matthew. Why do you apologize, my lord? Layla blundered, that's all. Wow. Math Matthew, Layla, she was... After this mission, I was going to ask her to put this life behind her. Waited too long, didn't I? My lord, might I rejoin you later? She has to be buried. Nice of funeral speech, dude. <laughs> she blundered. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Would not ah. do again. Ah, I'll go with you. Let them be alone. No. Oh, <laughs> you don't know her either. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing else we can do. Blasts. They put her out there for us to find find her like this. Unforgivable! This is a foul deed. Beyond foul. Hmm. This foe is somewhere in this forest. We must stop this before any more die. How do you know that, Eliwood? Like how the foe just has to be in this forest. Okay. Yeah. Ah! Beware, something comes. What? Kia. Kia. Lindus. <laughs> <laughs> If you value her life, send the girl to me. Ah, she says that a lot. Ah, you already like have a, a girl. <laughs> Just go. You're, you're Sakane. You one. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. This one's like two out of five stars. You can't like just five. keep her. You're never gonna use her anyway. That's correct. <laughs> I am Uhai of the Black Fang. Nice to meet you. Uhai, hi. I've been sent to I've capture, sent the, to girl. capture the girl, but actually took the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and to kill a lot of you. If, however, you hand over the girl and depart this island at once, I'll grant you your lives. And if we refuse, you know nothing like you. <laughs> <laughs> nothing of Nergal's might. Nothing of his terrible power. You are ignorant, and so you hope to oppose him. You are insects railing against the heavens. That's a good line. 
Ah, your actions will change nothing. Speak no more foolishness and be gone. Maybe we don't know what it is we're fighting, but if we flee, our loss is assured. So we will continue to struggle, and we may yet prevail. Fully. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> he just lets her go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you letting me go? You are not worth taking captive. <laughs> I just saw your star rating. <laughs> I, <saw you. laughs> I had to pause the 40 minutes. <laughs> like I was emotionally collected for a second. <laughs> now I'm like, wait, what? Two and a half stars? I get better ratings than this in Fire Emblem Heroes. I won to... the bridal thing. <laughs> you had to pause and go write a post on Fortnite. <laughs> When I captured Lin, I had to pause for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized who I would not take hostage again. Man. Oh my god. <laughs> Holding a woman hostage during battle is shameful. You too are of sake, and I have a mind to show you mercy. I will not let you oh, I will let you die with a sword in your hands. But rest assured I will kill you all here. But be of good cheer. And I, you shall be spared the calamity that is to come. Ninian, you must no, hide. No, no. We will meet the enemy. Best lines. Where? Where is she going to hide? <laughs> In the fog? I don't know. Alright, so. <laughs> it's time for chapter 19. This is the Dread Isle. It's a Fog of War chapter. Um, we need to complete this chapter in 15 turns to unlock the guide, uh, Guidance chapter. This is pretty oh, easy. Dear. I mean, you've got to be pretty fucking retarded not to do this in 15 turns. And hopefully... I, I missed it on my first playthrough. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> <laughs> but only because I was... But only because I didn't know. So I was, I was just spamming the Torch Staff and healing <laughs> and stuff like that. I didn't know, but yeah, you d you definitely wanna you definitely wanna get this guidance chapter because uh, in the gun chapter you get the silver card, one of the more I think you need the silver card to get a perfect front ran uh, r ranking. I mean, it'll be necessary, but it's so much easier. Yeah, it's gonna be hard not to do it. Okay, so I think uh, I, w I did the battle preparations beforehand. We're bringing uh, Hector, Marcus. Actually, come to think of it, we need to bring uh, Florina for this one because Florina, yeah. Florina. Um, we need Florina to recruit a character that appears on turn two. I think uh, maybe we'll ditch Kanas. I think it's probably a good idea to have two so healers. Many sword users still there. Holy shit! I do, I do. Fire Emblem Seven in general just has a lot of sword units, but there's a yeah. lot of axe users on this map. So like, I do. It's like Fire Emblem Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Like, okay, so we're bringing. Oh, no, uh, oh. I. He's. You know. There's not a lot for good. him to do this chapter. All right, so we'll do. We might as well okay. bring. You, you better use Lin and Elio both a lot, because I predict that one of them is is not going to do shit if you deploy them. <laughs> Pro probably, but I'm gonna try nevertheless. Okay. So we do need well, to. After, after the last few chapters, I'm like cautiously optimistic about your strategies, so I'll just give you the benefit of the doubt here. All right. Okay. We'll see how long it's gonna take me to ruin that completely. Um, mm -hmm. But I do. I do have a lot of like. I used to, like, when I was a new player, I used to struggle a lot with the Dragon Skate arc in general. I used to struggle a lot with these chapters. Um, I used to have to restart a lot. So I did develop a lot of strategies to deal with them properly because wow. first time you play That's Hector, hard. first time you play Hector hard mode, the pirate ship and these coming chapters right here, they can really take you off guard if you don't know what you're dealing with. The Dragon Skate chapter that comes up in two chapters in particular is really tough. Um... So this is what we're gonna do. So, uh, <laughs> it's actually a little bit of a funny trick. If you swap Matthew around, you can actually use him to, to check out. Because thieves have really good vision rate in Fog of War. So you can actually swap him around a little bit to see. There's the thief right here with the torch staff. You, de you want this. You want the staff. This staff is... I mean, yes, it gives you vision, which is not terrible. But it also gives you 15 experience points, which is really good. Basically a heal staff that you don't require injured people <laughs> to use. That's how I will wield the staff. Free XP in Fog of War maps, yeah. I think another good trick is to, to find a map on like farmdomwod.com and just check the enemies there. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that, that is a good, that is actually a good strategy now that I think or about it. Or you can it. just use Torch turn 1 and check it out and then reset or something. Yeah, or yeah. I could just use it's, Torch. On it's turn. a lot easier if you're not going completely blindly, that is a good point. Right. But yeah, you can definitely just check out the map. I'm back, my lord. That was a quick funeral. Did he just, like, yeah. dump her in the river or something? Oh, yeah. He does have lots of speed. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, are you sure? You don't have to. What are you talking about? Look at this eerie place. This thick fog. That's exactly why you brought me with you. Yet, 
If Layla, if Layla knew I was sh shirking my duties, she would never have forgiven me. I'm fine. I will work twice as hard for Asta in our honor. Understand, I'm understood. I'm counting on you. As well as you should, my lord. Tell me, Layla, this is what you would want, right? You would want me to. You wouldn't want me to give up. I'm mourned for you when our battle is won. I must fulfill my duty. So rest. I promise I will take care of everything. How about you don't take care of everything? <laughs> you better do this. Actually, yeah. I mean, there is one thing you can do. So this is, uh, I already showed you guys this in chapter 13 next, but um, you basically want to use the torch on Matthew to extend his already high vision range, and that pretty much allows you to see everything that's going on right here. And I'm going to send Marcus down to kill this thief, because this thief will run away. You'll need to use Marcus or some mounted unit to, to get to him. And it's definitely worth it. Uh, but we have a new unit to talk about. It's Dart right here. He also comes yeah, with a yeah. torch. Dart's your first pirate. Um, he's alright. He he has a... He's kind of... He reminds me a lot of Gonzalez from Fire Emblem 6. He has a very low skill growth, but he's a very high strength and speed. In fact, both his strength and speed growth is above 60%, which is really, really good. It's a little bit frail, though. Only 20% defense growth, so... His only redeeming feature is his sturdiness. <laughs> says Fargus. And I think Fargus was referring to his hit points, which are indeed okay, but... Yeah, I find Dart's constitution is a little low. He only has 10 con. Most of the other axe users in this game have around 13 to 14, so... If Dart ever uses... I mean, he gets slowed down by hand axes, and steel, he loses 5 points of speed from a steel axe, which is quite significant. Um, Berserkers in this game are really good, but the Ocean Seal, which you require them to uh, to promote, which can only be found in the Descent chapter, it's worth an absurd amount of gold. I think you can sell it for like 25,000 or something, if I'm... Yeah. So, you really gotta ask yourself, you get another pre-promoted Berserker in this game who's really good, you gotta ask yourself, is Dart really worth it? I mean, you know, 25,000 gold is a lot of money. Uh, you could be selling that and get a lot of equipment out of it. But still, I give Dart a 3 out of 5 stars, because he is a decent unit. I mean, he's not too hard to train. You can promote him to a Berserker, and Berserkers are really good, even in Fire Emblem 7. They don't enjoy their insane 30% crit boost that they did in Fire Emblem 6, but they still get a pretty nice crit bonus. They're certainly a lot better than Swordmasters, because they can real hand axes. And overall, Dart's, Dart's not going to let you down if you train him. Um, but I, I am cautiously giving him a 3 star, bordering on maybe 2 star, simply because... There's such a big investment you have to spend to promote him, since the Ocean Steel is so expensive. So, what do you think about uh, Dart Mecha? Yeah, not really a fan. Because as you said, the Ocean Steel is very expensive, and if you're planning on recruiting Farina, that's already a lot of gold. Now, yeah. I guess that most of your audience probably isn't going to do like a ranked run. And if you're not doing a ranked run, then you can easily afford to recruit both Farina and promote Dart. But it's still such a load of gold that you don't really need to spend, because Dart doesn't bring anything special. Um, like, one thing I... you didn't touch on really, but that I personally don't like about Dart is his base speed is kind of average, he's just 8, so it takes a while for him to get doubling. His strength is really good, HP is really good, uh, the constitution being 10 is like, whatever, you don't really need to use anything but iron and killer. But I guess not losing speed from Pandax would be nice, to be mm. fair. Uh, I'm just not a fan of Dart. Um, I also don't like his hit rate, because um, if he tries to attack someone in a force or something, he will usually miss, and that's bad, because he only gets to attack once uh, early on. And like this chapter is like filled with force and you just can't hit anything. That's really annoying. Yeah. Especially if he uses a hand axe. So those are my problems with Dart. And also the Ocean Seal comes a little late for my taste. Like someone at low and you can promote him early with a Night Crest. But Dart doesn't really have that option. So yeah, he just sits around unpromoted for a longer time than I would like it to. So I honestly I give Dart two stars and I think I'm being generous, honestly. Hmm. Alright. Well, he does come with a torch though, which is nice. And we're gonna use him for whatever he's worth in this chapter. Um, 500 gold, that's what the torch is worth. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I don't think you can buy them in yet, though, if I remember correctly, I'm not sure. Oh, I could sell it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could sell Dart. <laughs> that, is, that is a good point. So what I'm gonna do uh, with Marcus, I don't want him to eat up all the experience, but I think you gotta send Marcus down here if you, if you want to kill this thief. But I guess what I can do is I, he doesn't need to kill... He doesn't need to kill all of these guys. Uh, what I what I can do is I can place Hector and Bartra on the forts. Now, we brought Florina to recruit a unit, but she hasn't shown up yet. She will very soon. I'm going to keep Lin back here, because there's going to be a bunch of pirates coming from here. There's going to be some nice experience for Lin in the forest. She can deal with them relatively easily. I'm going to send Lowen over here to deal with these guys. Uh, there's a bunch of nomads, so I think what I'm going to do... I'm gonna use the steel sword just to get rid of this guy. I might actually the iron sword might work now. The steel sword. But I'm just gonna swap over a javelin on him. Maybe use Florina for that. We'll see. 
Come on, Lowen. What the fuck? Fight it, Leo. So I just realized I have my cursor on screen all the time. Sorry, guys. Oh. I know you guys get really OCD triggered by that. Should have just left it there. Holding hands, yay. <laughs> Lowen is getting Lowen is getting five hit KO'd and with like 35 display hit rate. That's really good. Like, holy shit, what a tank. He is really good, actually. All right, so we we don't need the torch on Lowen. We have a torch on Dart. So we'll do yeah, this. Gotta keep that four use javelin around, right? I, I, if I want to get a good funds ranking, I'm gonna have to actually use my low weapon ray and not just throw it oh, away. That's bullshit. You that's... don't have to throw it away, just store it. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Alright, so... It's like 20 gold, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna try this. It's usually not a... That actually did end up working. <laughs> You know, Bartram reminds me a lot of you in a lot of ways. Like he's kind of slow on the uptake. He's he's kind of stubborn, and <laughs> yes, he he's he's supposed to be kind of bad, and he gets really bad ratings. You know, <laughs> but in this playthrough, he just got so lucky with like defense procs and crits and no backfires. Even though they were horrible plans, they all worked out. So that's why Bartram is basically you. Nice, nice. I I I, I definitely I definitely see the comparison. Bartram's the face <laughs> is even similar. It just needs less hair. That's it. I mean, he do, he sort of looks like Wallace with hair, doesn't he? Yeah. In a way, he could be Wallace's son. Alright, so let's uh, play a game. Mecha, how many kills do you think Eliwood is going to get this chapter? In this chapter? Hmm. Well, if you send him that way, probably like two, three. But the, if he goes for the pirates, then he's going to get more, obviously. Nice job. Yeah, I just wanted to get Matthew out of the way because uh, this nomad could attack. Oh, this this ma this nomad has a fucking long, longbow, I just realized. Yeah, but it does like no damage, so... Yeah, but it's just I didn't I didn't need to rescue Matthew because I, I was I was moving Matthew away because I was like I want Os Oswin to retaliate, but then I realized that Oswin <laughs> won't be able to retaliate because it's the fucking it's a fucking longbow. All right, we got to be a little bit careful. There's a lot of nomads here, so you want to be in this chapter. This chapter can creep up on you in many ways. I've noticed. Like you you think you're safe, and then suddenly boom out of the fog. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That's I that like, guy was not in the fog though. There was no excuse. <laughs> there. You saw him on turn one. Well, no, no excuses. Well, all I'm saying is this chapter tends to creep up on you a little bit because there's a lot of enemies everywhere and they got really high mobility. So don't don't like build an army. Trust no one. That's, a, that's, a, <laughs> <laughs> that's don't trust Matthew. Actually, nope. look at the enemies or your Sarah gets attacked. Yes, basically. So be careful. Also, I would just like to point out that Hector can use Silver Axes now, and I put a Silver Axe on him, just for fun. I'd like to point out that you actually let the Cavaliers go on the fort instead of marching Hector, yeah. and it doesn't matter, because you hit anyway. Yep. Because you're so lucky. And I get Holy an amazing- I'm gonna get an amazing level up, because I'm Manx. <laughs> you're so good. <laughs> actually, all of my lords are pretty- All my lords are pretty decent, except for Lynn, because she hasn't gotten any kills, but I plan to remedy <laughs> that. Oh, and... In fact, I probably need to go heal Sarah with Priscilla. Wah, uh, wah. Wah, wah. Lowen is so good. Yeah, he's actually... The entirety of Fort Manx has begun praising him a lot now. Um, because, you know... It, I don't know, I'm not sure if my Lowen is just blessed or what it is, but... Yeah, I'd he, have to check. I, I think his last few levels haven't been that great, so he's probably not as above average as he was. I remember no. his strength was really good for his level at first. Yeah, I, he got some really good level ups really early on, but in general, he's just been really consistent and great because Kane and Scent just. Kane and Scent, actually. Kane and Scent. <laughs> I actually said Kane about Sane or something. Yeah, you did, you did. I was going to point it out, but then I didn't, actually. I was going to be funny about that. But yeah, you called him Kane, but it's not too far from the truth, in a way. No, wait, Kane is the red. Yeah, but I mean, that's it right. It doesn't matter, because they have like a, a reversed growth and base thing. Like, one of them has good strength growth, but bad base and vice versa. So it's kind of hard to pinpoint them on their yeah, archetype. The, but and the, and the it's red a wrong cavalier, that's the point. <laughs> the the, the, the red-green cavalier duo changes quite a lot, actually, over the course of the games. They're not the same. In some games, the red cavalier is the silent one, and in some games, the green cavalier is. I mean, Fire Emblem 8, you got Ford, who's the red cavalier, and he's like all saney. And Saints the green one in Fire Emblem 7, so they don't keep it consistent at all. Much like writing in Fire Emblem in general. Alright, so, uh, yeah, if I much keep... Much like this game. Much like this game. Yeah, fun fact, you actually get five avoidance in the sand. Fun fact right there. In case you oh. did not know. It's, um, it's funny, but, yep, that's how it works. Only it was a forest. Yeah, but 
the problem is if you stay on the forest, what they'll do is they'll go down here, and if they have a hand axe, they'll actually go and attack Merlinus, which is actually some... There's a reason not to field them on this chapter. Um, what the hell? You get double by Hollywood. Steel bow. OP. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to... I'm going to do this. Hot healer on healer action. I got it. Get, I hope you can get rid of every single Pegasus Knight there, then. I... I think I should be able to. I think it's to. possible, though. Well, I don't need to worry about these guys. I just need to worry about the Pegasus Knights, so... I mm, guess what I'll do is I'll use Florina just to get Sarah away. I mean, I got Florina fielded on this map, so I might as well use her as a, as a rescue bot. Although, I could also use her to kill a Pegasus Knight. Do you think Florina can kill something? Well, look at that. That's not Florina, that's Dart. I know, Cheater. but look at that, still. Dart, yeah. Dart doubling. Even Dart is good against <laughs> two Lance Pegasus Knights. Yeah, yes, actually. And you know, it's a 20 experience con. Oh, we forgot to check the ranking again! <laughs> oh my god. I think god. you don't forget until the end of the game and you're like, oh, what the hell? Oh my <laughs> I got god. C rank. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, can we can we suspend and s copy the no, save? Gotta be in the prep screen, dude. No, 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 I know how to do this. I know how to do this. I know oh, how to do this. Look look at this, look at this. Are you gonna copy your save? Yes. Oh my god. I'm gonna copy it. Advanced. And I'm gonna restart. We're gonna check the save. Uh, I hope I didn't I think, Didn't it say suspended data were deleted or whatever? Uh, whatever, just check your ranking, I guess. I hope not. Alright, anyway. Uh, fortune, rank... Oh! Yay. The say tactics. It. Say it, Mecca. Say it. You can just play the clip, and nobody will be able to tell the difference. <laughs> Say it! Yes, spectacular. You amaze me, Mangs. <laughs> I am cautiously optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh... Well, I, I hope I didn't... I would hope I didn't lose my, my save right now, that'd be... Well, now you just started the chapter again. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if I go resume... Now if you resume, it will probably be just this one. Yeah. <gasps> SHIT! <laughs> <laughs> ah! So much for optimism. Okay, yeah, you only made like three moves or whatever in turn two. Honestly, yeah. honestly, I, I would kind of like to, um, to do the same mistakes all over again and just rely on energy. <laughs> <laughs> just want the actor level up, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I just want the actor level up, to be quite honest. But I think... Um, I hope you remember the order, then. <laughs> I do not. Um, I still think I'll do this, just for... Just now you for... burned an RN. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure. Possibly. Uh, well, I fucked up with Sarah, so I would like to... I would like to do this again. Also, this guy spawned with more hit points this time around, or more defense. What? We'll see how it goes. Hit points, strength, defense, A! Wow. Lowen got defense, so that's good. I take that over for the Hector level up, honestly, because Lowen is more important. Yeah, actually, I agree. Alright. You know what? This is this was a blessing in disguise, because we got to we got to perf perfect our strategies right now. So this is this is all good. This is all good. I don't know if I'd say perfect. <laughs> it's like <laughs> slight improvements. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. <laughs> All right, so what we'll do now is we'll send, I'll still send Marcus down here and not do anything though. And so I still, I st again. honestly still gonna do this because I'm lucky. Hi, and it works out again, wow. It works out again. Why? So because I am just that good. But this time around, I'm not gonna stand in range of that Pegasus Knight. What Pegasus Knight? I don't see a Pegasus Knight, you're fine. All right, it's true. We don't, we don't have the fog anymore, so it's okay. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's all fine. Florina actually got a lot of exp experience from that, so it's actually fine. Fuck. Rip. Fuck. Kill him. No! Oops. I'm getting really unlucky now. This is you not need to good. work on your tactics rank, Manx. Yeah, my tactics rank is five stars, so that's fine. Wasn't it four? I'm no, pretty that, sure it was the only four star. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the four star was turn count based, not. I think combat. Yeah, that's why I said tactics, dude. Oh, that's that's turn count though, not not com. All oh, right, right, right. Never mind. I I derp. I derp. It's okay. People are used to it. <laughs> People should be used to it by now. Been doing this since 2011. 
All right, so Loan is doing pretty well. He actually, this is actually in many ways a better attempt because Loan actually hit with both his javelins, which is good. We'll see how this goes. Nice. nice. Good job, Bartra. Good job. All right, so we do need to we do need to reach that thief. So mm -hmm. we can turn animations yeah. on again now. This, this is where not killing with Marcus kind of bites you in the butt because now these enemies are in the way. Yes. And you don't really have a reliable way of getting rid of them. But I guess Bartra. Oh, no, Marcus has already passed them. Then it's actually better than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, because uh, I do need to kill this guy now. Yeah, Marcus can get him. I'm wondering, uh, hand axe or javelin? Uh, javelin has more hits, so. <laughs> Dude, it's a guy with a sword. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, but there are some lance users here, and you know. Yeah, you're... Do you want to miss? Like, jeez. It was like a 40 hit difference. Yeah, maybe you're right. Alright, so maybe we can... Hmm, this is not great, actually, because the sword guy is in the way. If I, if I move Hector back, then I... Ooh, Hector can actually move on rivers. That's kind of cool. Yeah, all the lords can, I'm pretty sure. Makes for some pretty pro strats in some chapters. Yeah, because I, I need to try and hit this guy. I think Bartra... If I give Bartra an Iron Axe, he should be out. Okay, time for, time for another Hector. Level. Same level up, let's go. Eh, it's a good enough. I still take that, yeah. Especially because uh, of Lowen's level up. Wow. wow. Ellie good. Ellie good. Don't blink Iron Elijah sword. Wood. <laughs> Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood right here. Kind of looks like a hobbit, doesn't he? And we'll put Bartra on top of... <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no Mecca. <laughs> God damn it. You like that Devil Axe so much. Ah! <laughs> you like it Wouldn't so... Wouldn't have happened if you used the Devil Axe. <laughs> yeah, I think... Nah, but they, it is a separate RNG, doesn't it? Nah, but it is rolled after, so like, I was kind of joking. Okay, I think uh, this is probably not a bad time to use the Lance Reaver, no. to be quite honest. Oh, use the Longsword, it's good against horses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right, man. Why didn't I think about that? Jesus. Yeah. But yeah I, I think Lance Reavers give like two weapon XP too. But yeah, the sword rank doesn't really matter, because you didn't get the Silver Sword. True, true. Oh man, Bart. And, and, X, and X gets him, if it's the Lance dude. Oh, 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 right, right. Nah. Oh, it's an Iron Lance, it's GG. Fuck. Mm. Well done. Okay, so this is probably yeah. There's some pirates here with steel axes. They're actually going to be rather nasty against Boswin. I mean, mostly because of his hit will be bad, but I don't think he'll die. It's no. Oswin. You might be he right. Grew defense, remember? <laughs> He's invincible. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get a kill with Florina. Might as well, right? Fucking base level Florina can beat Steel Lance Pegasus Knights. Yup. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. Completely, completely 100% worth it. I bet you're happy you're getting Fiora this chapter. Yep, sure is. Okay, so these guys, yeah, they cannot move on rivers. Loan's a little bit injured, though. I'm wondering if maybe... To check it. I think he takes like three damage. He'll be fine. Yeah, Doesn't he have a vulnerability or something? Yeah, I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to chip this guy down because I want to kill him. What? I need to, need to chip him down so, so Dart can kill him. But I got... Why not use Dart first, dude? That's a good point. Well, I guess Matthew would take a counter either way, but that depends uh, on how low he gets. If he uses Steel Axe, I think Matthew doesn't take a counter. And uh, Matthew might be in range of a Longbow at least. And uh, maybe if a Steelbow Nomad gets into the tile where the Cavalier is right now. Yeah. Then he but, might but I got wrecked. Priscilla, so it's fine. Oh, yeah, you do. I mean, she could this have healed true. someone else this turn, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, it's get, all right. It's guess, all good. I guess we'll use the. Iron Lens? Ah, I would like to kill this guy this turn. I mean, I can't retaliate on the Longbow guy anyway, so I might as well use the Steel Lance. Like, it's not like uh, Bosswing gets slowed down by Steel Lance anyway. I think he has the con to wield it. No, it's just his hit rate that suffers. But I think the Horse Slayer isn't that great either, so whatever. Alright, well, okay, fine. We'll use Lowen then. You can also just use the Vulnerary. I can use the Vulnerary, but I can also kill the, the Archer and not take damage from him on enemy face. Yeah, the Vulnerary heals more than you take from him. True, true. Okay, I, I, if memory serves, I think there is a hammer wielding pirate on this map. Mm, I don't think so. I know there was one in like Port of Baton, but I, I don't remember one here. Mm. Like, I don't have every enemy memorized, but wow, I don't think really, I'm Lin? Really, yep. Lin? <laughs> that is good guys. Yeah, like really. What, I think I said something about that where like. Lin is supposed to be fast, but she doesn't even have that great of a base speed. Are Especially you if, she's like, if she's trained, then yeah, she has like 15 speed or something. Did she, she fine. not I double... think she has like 10 or 11. 
Something along those lines, yeah. These pirates are pretty fast, I guess, but still, holy shit. Yeah, I think they have like eight, maybe what seven. What the actual fuck? Marcus. Marcus, yay. Critting on a second attack, like a boss. You don't get more weapon experience from crit, that's a myth, right? <laughs> that's a myth. That's a myth I've never heard. You just make more people believe that by saying that. It's a myth. It's a man's myth. It's a man's myth. It's a man's pitfall. No, I swear to God, that was a myth that used to circulate around the Starnus Forest for a while. Like people thought that. I know people used to think that like crit was rolled before hit, and that's why Gonzalez was really overrated. But I never heard that one before. Hmm. Oh right, yeah. Some people thought that if you had a hundred percent crit rate, you'd hit on every single attack. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, she can take one hand axe, I think. Now, there are some monks over to the eastern flank, if I remember correctly. If oh no, monks, and they're <laughs> scary. Eight attack, eight attack rating. <laughs> Watch out, Lolan. Not, not as scary as the longbow, though. The longbow is the most frightening weapon in all of Fire Emblem. Elliewood is still squishy as fuck, though. Like, that's one of the things that his durability is so bad. Like average. I don't know, Lynn. I think that the, the Nomad might actually be in range of Hollywood, and if that Nomad has a steel bow, then I'm fucked. Because Hollywood's. No, he'll be fine. You think so? He'll be fine. You sure? I don't think he'll be, he'll be fine, fine. dude.